What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing the third part of our face-off stringing tutorial series. So we've already done the dual two, we've already done the CEO two, or the CEO one, and today we're going to be doing the CEO two. So let's go over some facts about the CEO. This one is priced at a hundred dollars. I'm sure you can get it cheaper if you find it on sale. That's ten dollars more than the original CEO. Uh, has actually one more sideball string, so it has seventeen instead of the original sixteen that was on the CEO one. It's got a higher throat because it's been more specialized towards face-offs, so you can get your hand higher up on the stick. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, instead of the one um, screw on the original CEO, you now have two, so you can get it tighter. You also have this that goes inside of the stick. It's got a redesigned scoop, so that's less pointed, so that you can scoop things better. It is just slightly heavier than the, than the original CEO. It's like 5.2 grams, I think, instead of like 4.9 that the original CEO was. I think that's because of like, I mean, you got this, first of all. You got new badges. I'm pretty sure most of the weight comes from right here. They've tried to shave off a lot more up here to make it lighter, as you can see with the little cutouts and all that stuff but it's still just a little bit heavier. It's also been just overall modernized compared to the original CEO and more specialized towards face-offs. Um, so today we're gonna be using one shooting string, which is maybe optional because it's kind of whippy. We're gonna be using one bottom string, four sidewall strings, you only need three of those, the other one is optional. And that'll be it, other than your mesh, which you obviously need. So I will unstring this and we will get into the tutorial. Okay, now I have this unstrung for you guys. What you're going to need for the top string is only two, let me get rid of these. You're gonna need two sidewall strings, or one. One of them is optional, so you either need two or one. If you're doing the optional part, I would get something like needle nose pliers or a tiny screwdriver or something. I have one of those. And at the end, you'll probably want a lighter so you can cut the loose ends. And obviously, you need your mesh. So I've already strung this beforehand to test it out. So mine's already pulled apart, but beforehand you're gonna want to make sure your mess is your mesh is all loose. So that's easier to string. Also, I'm going to be stringing with the tag in so that people know that the head is new if I'm giving it away or selling it or helping somebody out so that they know it's new. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry about that, but I guess that's just the way I do it. Okay, so to start your top string, mine's already folded over, but you want to find the end of your mesh that has an 11 or a 9 diamond row. Sorry, I was thinking of a goalie stick. That has a 9 diamond row, so you can tell which side that is by counting the diamonds. There's 9 here. So then you will fold that 9 diamond row on to the next 9 diamond row below it. As you can see, mine's already done. You'll see that it just looks like a normal mesh hole when you're done. Now the side that has it overlapping is going to be the side that's your back. So it'll go on like that. So we will start with this. Put this one to the side for now. I'll tell you guys what to do with that later. So you'll start with a knot, an anchor knot, to make sure it doesn't slip out. There you go. 
I am going to start from the right to this video. I usually start from the middle, but today I'm going to start from the right. So what you will do is you will go in. No, you'll go. You'll go up. So you could start a loop and back in. And back up again. So that you can loop that to start. Pull that tight. Okay. So then to start, you are going to go in the plastic, leave a loop, come out the hole. This may look a little complicated right here. Then up through there, through the loop that you left. Oh man, everything's getting caught in here. Yeah, this, this little string got caught. But do the same thing. And you should be okay. So we got that. Now, we'll go through the top, or I guess the back, of the mesh right there. Through there, leave a loop through the back of the plastic, and down through the loop that you left, just like so. And... If you have done that correctly, it will look like that, and you will have your first top string knot. So now we're going to do the same thing through the back of the plastic. It's a little complicated with the tag here, but we'll get through it. You're going to skip one diamond and go to the next one. You're going to go through the front of that diamond and through the loop that you left. Okay, you're gonna do that same process, same thing. We're gonna go through the back of the diamond, which is the front for us. Leave a loop, just like that. Through the front of the plastic, which is the back for us, because we're stringing from the back. And then through, sorry if that was hard to see through the loop that you left. Normally I'd be pulling all this tighter, but for the sake of demonstration, I'll save you guys the time. So when you're doing this, you're gonna want to make sure that everything is as tight as possible. You shouldn't be able to bend that right there. It's way too bendy. So I should have done that a lot tighter, but for the sake of time, we'll leave it as it is. So then we'll go through the back of the plastic, leave the loop, skip another hull or another mesh hole, go through that one, up through that loop, and pull tight through the front of the mesh hole, leave that loop. go through the went through the back the front of the plastic which is the back for us now we go through the loop that we left and pull it tight again all of these should be looking just like that now we're on to our last one and then we will tie off so again we're gonna skip a mesh hole and we will also skip these two holes and go down to this one. So we go through the back of the plastic, which is the front for us. Leave that loop. Front of the mesh, which is the back for us. Through the loop that we left. Through the back of the mesh, which is the front for us. Through the front of the plastic, which is the back for us through the loop that you left there. 
Again, I should have pulled that all tighter, but we will live for now. I can restring this later if I want to use it. And there you go. Now all we have to do is tie off. So you'll go through the front, which is actually the back of the mesh. There you go. We're going to the third sidewall hole. Probably forgot to mention that over here, but you want to go through the third sidewall hole. So put it on through, pull that tight. Now we're going to want to go through again. We'll go through the front of the mesh here. Pull that as tight as possible. For the sake of time, I probably won't pull it as tight as I can, but you guys definitely should if you want this to be a very good stick. Then you'll do the same knot that you did over here and tie it off. There you go, there's that knot. And you have finished that section of the top string. Now for the second section of the top string, which is totally optional, I'm gonna redirect you to another one of my videos for the triangle top string. Again, it's completely optional. You'll need one other sidewall string. And that's all you'll need. Probably a little tool, like a tiny screwdriver or some needle nose pliers. Either or would work. Maybe even a fork. I don't know. It's your choice. Um, so yeah, head over to that video if you want to do that part. If not, I will see you guys for the sidewall string either way. Okay. Okay, so I've finished the top string. If you did the triangle top string, it should look something like this. That video for the triangle top string should be in the description, and I might have put it in the top corner over there earlier or now, whenever. So if you can't find it, look in the description. It will definitely be there at least. So to start with the side wall, let me get my notes out. I'm going to start with the knot. Just like so, like we did before. We're going to start at the number one hole here. We're going to go in there. Come on. There we go. So, if we've done this right, this should be our regular top string hole. If you did the triangle top string, that should be here. If you didn't, just leave that blank. It doesn't matter. And this should be our sidewall string hole, the one on top. So now, I'm going to come down here, find our first 10 diamond right there. Should be right below our top string. We're going to go under there. My string got caught down there. Get that out. So yeah, we're going to go under. We're going to go down through hole four, right through there. We're gonna leave a loop here. We're gonna go back under that first 12 diamond, or 10 diamond hole. Sorry, I'm still thinking of goalie sticks. Then we're gonna go around through that loop that we left. And we're gonna pull everything tight. Again, I could be pulling this tighter, but for the sake of time, we're not going to. So now we're going to repeat those same steps up through the second 10 diamond hole, through the outside of hole number five in the plastic. Leave this loop again, back through second 10 diamond or yep second 10 diamond hole and then pull it all tight if you're doing it right should 
looks something like that and it should be pulling it a little tight. This should be really tight up here. Okay, so we're going to repeat that again. Up, around, but this time we're going to skip a sidewall hole. So we're not going to go for this one, which is hole number six. We're going to go straight to hole number seven. So we're going to go through the outside of hole number seven. Leave this loop again. Back up that same 10 diamond hole, which is our third one. And we're going to pull that tight. Sorry if that's a little loud, it's clinking on the table. And you should start to almost see how our pocket is going to be forming. Now we're going to do that again. Under the fourth 10 diamond hole, we're going to go under. We're going to skip another hole and go straight to the ninth plastic hole. Through the outside there. We're going to go under, again, leave this loop, through the outside of that loop, and through, and we will pull that tight. Come on. There we go. Now you can really see our pocket for me. You can see how this is all going to be tight, and then we're going to start making room for a pocket down here. So the way we're going to do that is we will start with a double. So what you have to do for a double is go under. This is the, I think, fifth, maybe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, yep, the fifth 10 diamond hole, or mesh hole. And we'll go under the sixth one, too. We'll pull those together through, through the outside of the 10th plastic hole. And then we'll just go under here and pull it tight. If you did that right, it should look like that. So we're going to do that again, except this time we're going to do a single. So we'll only grab one mesh hole. So we'll grab this mesh hole. Go to the 11th hole in the plastic and pull that tight. Now we're going to do that again. Except this time, we're going to skip hole number 12 on the plastic and go straight to hole number 13. So we'll go under this next hole, out through the outside of there, and there we go. We'll do this one more time. So we'll go through. And up, hold that tight. We'll skip hole number 14 and go straight to hole number 15. Go through the outside of hole number 15, just like we did. Pull that tight. Now, all we have to do is tie off and then repeat on the other side. And then we're done with the sidewalls. So to tie off, you're going to take the next 10 diamond mesh hole. Make sure everything's pulled tight. You're going to go through the top, which is actually the back. So through that, just like that. You're going to go down. And then we're going to go through the inside of hole number 17, which should be our last hole. This one right here. So we'll go through the inside there. If I can get this thing to go through. This thing is not cooperating. There we go. It's easier if you have an aglet on it. Now that we've pulled that tight, all we have to do is tie off and repeat on the other side. Then we'll be we will be on to our bottom string. Sorry if that clanking is loud. We'll be on to our bottom string and our shooter string. Or not shooter string, depending on preference really. There we go. It's all tied off. Should look just like that when you're done. And I will see you guys back when you have repeated it on this side. And then we'll start with our bottom string and our shooter string. Okay, so I finished the side string. 
you should have too. The pocket should look sort of like that, depending on what you did. So on this part, feel free to really do whatever you want because these parts are up to preference. But the way I like to do my bottom string, so I'll go through this hole right here. That left inside hole. I'll find the row of diamonds where I finished off on. It's right here. Looks like a 12 diamond row. So I'm going to go up this third diamond here. Go up there, down the next one, up the next one, down the next one, up the next one, and then we will finish off on this third hole. So that's completely symmetrical. We'll go down, then I will cross over to the right inside hole, right here, and you have finished your bottom string. All you have to do is punch it out, make sure it's legal. Okay, that looks good to me. Then tie it off however tight you want it. There we go. Okay, so for this stick, personally, I don't think I would use a shooting string because it's kind of whippy. It's about as whippy as the warp, really, with the string on. But I will show you guys just so that you know how to do it, even though I'm sure most of you already know how. This is kind of hard to do on camera, but I'll figure it out. So where I like to do my string on this stick is the third... 11 diamond row. So there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the third one, right there. So let's start by going up there, just like so. Make sure you move all these little strings out so that they're not bothering you. Okay, make sure they're even. Then I'm going to go over and then back up. There are lots of methods to this, so feel free to do whatever you like. Over, back up, over, come on, back up. And just continue doing this all the way down. Over up, over up. Try to make sure that it's straight. Right now I'm not doing my best for the sake of time again. But when you're doing this, try to make sure it's straight so that there's no kinks. If I were you and I was doing this, I'd make sure that this was really loose. I'd only really use one of these if you want to make sure you have a nice release point. Not to create more whip, because you really don't need it on this stick. Over up. Yeah, again, this is all up to preference. You can customize your stick however you like. And just be creative. And that is our last one. So we'll go up and under, and we will tie off here. Okay, that might be a little tight for me. I might loosen it later. Also, wouldn't have put this all the way around here. I would have just put it under. That's a mistake by me. But again, all up to preference. So instead of doing this right there, I would do this. Just go through that one bar. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any 
suggestions on videos to make or any comments, concerns, you know, anything you want to see, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Feel free to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Thank you for watching.